Hi, in today's video, we're going to learn everything about hyperlinks in HTML. I'm pretty sure you have already encountered many links throughout your career as an internet user. Because links are all over the World Wide Web. Links enable us to jump from website to website and surf the web. Generally speaking, they connect websites with each other. But how can we create links with HTML? Don't worry, we are going to learn it now step by step. To get started, we just create a simple HTML file with a heading on it. Now we are going to add a text paragraph, which will later contain our first link. Remember, we can create text paragraphs in HTML using the P tag. As you can see in the browser to the right, the text paragraph appears. Now it's time to add our first link. In HTML, the A tag is used to create a link. Why A and not L? Easy, because A stands for anchor. Think of it like anchoring another web page to this one. Let's add a link to Wikipedia. So we want to add the A element around the text link to Wikipedia. Have a look at the browser to the right and you will notice the link we have just created. By default, links are displayed, underlined and in a different color. If we would click the link now, nothing would happen yet. That's because we haven't defined a target URL so far. The href attribute of the A element is used to define the target URL of the link. Because we want to link to Wikipedia, we set the target URL to wikipedia.org. Now it's time to click the link and as you can see, it leads us straight to Wikipedia. What if we want the link to open in a new browser tab? This is very easy as well. The only thing we have to do is set the target attribute to underscore blank. Let's open the web page in the browser again and click on the link. As you can see, Wikipedia opens in a new browser tab. The link we have just created is a so-called external link. External because it links to a web page which is not part of our website. Internal links, on the other hand, connect different web pages of the same website with each other. For example, the navigation menu of a website consists mostly of internal links. So let's create a simple navigation menu for our website now. We will add it on the top of the page before the heading. So create another link using the A tag, but this time we set the href attribute to an internal page of our website. Let's say we want to link an about page, so we set the href attribute to about.html. Dot followed by a slash means that the about page is located in the same folder like our index.html file. We haven't created the about.html file yet, so the link won't work. Let's do this now. Make sure that you create the file in the same folder as the index.html file. An empty file is boring, right? So let us head to our index.html file again and copy all of the content to the about.html file. Now, the title is wrong, of course. We want to change it to about me. And also delete all the content in the body element. Copy and pasting existing code from your projects can be a powerful tool to save time. But please don't do it mindlessly, as it can lead to lots of duplicated code. Now it's time to add some content to our about me page. We will start with a heading and a text paragraph below it. Now we have successfully set up everything and are ready to open our index.html file in the browser again. And have a look at our navigation menu. The link to our about me page appears on top of our home page. If we click it, the browser opens the page. We have reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this series so far, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any content about learning to code. See you next time and happy coding!